On the northeast side of San Antonio, the old Longhorn Quarry is now home to high school football on Friday nights at Hero Stadium. The Judson Rockets, six times in their school history, state champions in Texas. Taking on the Chargers of Churchill, former state champions in their own right, looking to avenge their season-ending loss in the first round of the playoffs against Judson a year ago. Coming up next on Time Warner Cable Sports Channel, high school football, Chargers and Rockets, when we come back. Hero Stadium on this Friday night on the northeast side. Lincoln Rose along with Hall of Fame coach Larry Pullen welcoming you in as it is the Chargers of Churchill High School taking on the Rockets of Judson High. And all that coming up when we return here in the Alamo City as it is the Rockets taking on the Chargers tonight on Time Warner Cable Sports Channel. Churchill Chargers and Judson Rockets a little bit earlier on today. With captains at midfield. You see the Rockets will receive to begin this opening half. And moments later, the Chargers took the field here at Hero Stadium. Still relatively young facility here at Northeast Independent School District. They'll be host to the Rockets of Judson High School. Both schools with high expectations for Churchill. So many returners from last year's squad that made it to the playoffs despite a four and seven record overall. I say four and seven, Coach Larry Pullen, Two of those seven losses for Churchill last year came against these Judson Rockets. It's a brand new season. A lot of veterans back now for Churchill. And they have a reason to believe they may be walking out 3-0 by the end of tonight. Well, they got a good squad and they played well this year. Uh, they are definitely going to be in the mix for as a playoff team in that district. Uh, they've got some talented young men in the backfield. They play good defense. So that puts uh, those two things together. Makes for a good foot high school football team. A couple of 5A programs. Glen Hills, Churchill Chargers now 2-0 in 5A District 26. There you see the head man for the Judson Rockets. They won their opener in week zero. They lost last week against Steele after defeating Lake Travis in that big season opener. But that is Mark Smith. Tyvee's head coach for a decade over in Kerrville nearby. And of course, that means he had you know who. Back then, Johnny Manziel wore the number three on his back in the navy blue and gold. I forgot this, but looking back at an old depth chart, Johnny was also a punter for that squad, did a little bit of everything. But Mark Smith, he is the president elect for the Texas High School Coaches Association. So he will be the top coach in the state starting next year. A lot of respect throughout the Lone Star State for that man now second year at the helm of these Judson Rockets about to return. You see the series history overwhelmingly in favor of the Rockets, a team that has won six state titles. You see the squib kick fielded up at the 24 and finally just to be safe, a couple of up backs will fall on top of it as finally for Judson just doing the smart thing was Jamichael Washington, a senior Opting to fall on that. There you see Ray John, Austin Rams. If they can't convert. Ball throw down, well designed and off to the races. For the Rockets, this is Cedric Williams, the senior. And Williams looking to take it the entire way and Churchill fans rejoice as he's tripped up 20 yards short of the ultimate destination. They'll say marked out at the 18. Well, so much for close to the vest, you know, uh, uh, a great throw and catch it, and it was, you know, it was just a little in route, to, uh, and nobody covered him. I think they were playing, thinking the same way thing I was that Justin was probably not going to put that ball in the air, but they did, and nobody covered him in great yardage. Deja Morrow with the touchdown saving tackle, at least for now. Rockets are going to back up five yards with the impermissible movement prior to the snap. That young man that ran him down uh, did a great job. Uh, uh, of never giving up and uh, stopping that thing. And now uh, if they can play some good defense, maybe they can keep them out of the end zone. You see that WC Winston Churchill hand sign from the fans. That's in defense already this year, has forced three fumbles, intercepted three passes through a couple of weeks of play. Smysik just has not had any luck. You see the helmet coming off. That means he'll have to come off for third down. Smysik is averaging almost seven yards per carry, but nowhere close to that for the former Little League standout. A 
Well, if, they, if, if Judge can continue to play their defense like this, uh, uh, Churchill will, will have a hard time running their spread offense uh, because, you know, uh, they got their linebackers so deep and they're pressuring enough with their three down linemen. Every once in a while they'll send an extra uh, rusher and everybody else just sets back and chase her down. 12 minutes in the books. Second quarter coming up. Still scoreless here at Hero Stadium on the northeast side. Chargers and Rockets. It's Chargers ball still when we return. We've got an action. We'll cut back. First down. Looking for more. Eyes on the end zone. And the Rockets are on the board first. Andre Wilson. And Wilson, he had to reroute a few times with the old GPS device after making this catch. Ooh, his knee was almost down, wasn't it? Cut through there, good blocking out in front of him. He just threads through there, shreds the defense, and takes it in the end zone. Broke some arm tackles. Andre Wilson, his third touchdown already this year. Oh. Looking for touchdown number two and coasting right on through. Brandon Sanders, first score through the air, second one on the ground, and the Rockets have quickly turned a scoreless ball game into a two-score affair. Well, now they ought to be putting Andre Wilson's name in the paper along with uh, uh, the running back because of the blocking he did. And look at this block, if you can see it. He puts the guy on the ground. See him right there? Um, he, uh, he cleared the way for him to take it into the end zone. Just a great block by a good receiver. Well, again, you're talking about Andre Wilson, who, of course, had the first touchdown score to break the tie. The hole is down, up, and it is good. A pair of extra points tonight for Colby Doyle. Yeah, no throw here. They'll pick it up on the ground. And this, the best run of the night by far for Nicholas Smysik. Smysik right at the yardage needed for a first down. Looks like they may be going to measure it. But you can see he cuts up in there this time and gets a little seam, and he's a load when he gets moving. Like you say, he's not playing second base in Little League, uh, second base in Little League anymore. Back then he was 5'2", 127 pounds. Today he's 5'9", 220 pounds. And the measurement taking place. It's not going to be my, by much either way. He's gained about the same amount I've got have since I quit. <laughs> a lot of that is just no blocking up front. He's got it. Pearson, a split second later, and he would have been sacked. Instead, first touchdown on the night as he dials up the junior, Brad Gopher. Well, I'll tell you, this was a well-designed play, too. Uh, he just, uh, at the right time, he made that pump fake and uh, made him think he's going to throw that little dig route. And uh, Gopher took it up the sideline. It was a perfectly thrown ball, and they got their six points. And for Gopher, they're thinking about 43. And Pearson's just going to pick up. He hopes a first down. Two seconds, one second, and that's the end of the half. Back to the line of scrimmage for Nate Pearson. Back to the locker rooms for the Rockets and Mark Smith, as well as the Chargers and their head coach, Glenn Hill. Coach Smith has an eight-point lead to work with. A couple of touchdowns in the second quarter for the Rockets. Chargers able to come up with their first score in the second stanza as well. Again, turning up field, Sanders. Brandon Sanders with number two on the night. Uh, shows a little quickness. Look at him. He takes that ball to right where he needs to take it, to the Mr. Ref. Act like you've been there before when you get in an end zone. So you're saying do not drop it on the one-yard line. No, nah, I've seen that happen just lately. But that's, you know, I know a lot of good coaches say, uh, act like you've been there before and give it to the official. There's another guy who's... So 12 seconds remain. They're just going to let this thing yep, clock come starts. to an end. Melting down, and the Judson Rockets are back on the winning track, now two and one. They bounce back from their loss against Steele to pick up the 28 to six victory for Mark Smith and the Rockets against the previously undefeated two and zero Churchill Chargers, who now similarly are two and one. Mark Smith and Glenn Hill 
meet at the middle of the field. And coach, when you and I spoke to the coaches, when we spoke to Mark Smith, his comment was, my goal is to talk to you at the end of the game. Well, he, he, he reached that goal, didn't he? <laughs> we'll talk to the head man here in just a moment. Well, that's always a pretty sight, and I comment on it uh, a lot of times during the year. Uh, you fought a hard game, and, and you know, and everybody gave their all, and then you've got both those teams, white and black uh, jerseys, uh, walking on that line right there, uh, shaking hands with everybody. And that's what, uh, and you got the two coaches there. You know, you got, uh, it doesn't get much better than this if you want to uh, tout the value of athletics across the area. Well, sure if that. history repeats itself, those two may be facing each other one more time this year. Now, the odds aren't in favor of it, but last year they met twice. And we'll see likely both teams in the postseason. A very talented Chargers team falls tonight for the first time here in 2013. As Judson shaking hands with Churchill High. Yeah, both these teams, they, they've had a history, haven't they, uh, throughout the years, a storied history from both these teams. Uh, Great programs. Both of them have a state championship, or more than one. Yeah, combined for seven state yeah. titles. And uh, what a great deal. A lot of tradition. Both both uh, campuses have lots of tradition. That's the red and black of Judson you see celebrating. So final score here at Hero Stadium. The Rockets prevailed 28 to six. And again, in a moment, we'll get a headset on Coach Mark Smith. And I believe we have the gentleman as, Coach, you got 28 points from your offense, and that proved to be a lot more than you needed thanks to an impressive showing from the Judson Rockets defense this evening. Yeah, defensively, I thought we did some good things. Uh, we were a little bit sloppy in the beginning in the first half. Team speed overall, and we got a lot of guys up front we can roll in and out to keep them fresh. So. We feel I, good about where we're headed. Uh, I, I saw that Armstrong came back in, so obviously his ankle or whatever he had is okay. Oh, Johnson? Yeah, I mean Johnson. Yeah, yeah, he's fine. He's really, I mean, we got a few nicks and bruises. You know how it is, so we just got to overcome those and keep fighting on. Good rocket. to see you, Mark. All right, Larry, y'all take care. Okay. And we now have a chance to talk to our player of the game. And, well, we can get to the bottom of this Sanders number 20 connection, as it will be Brandon Sanders who danced into the end zone on a couple opportunities here tonight. And Brandon, you share carries with a couple of talented seniors, uh, but when you got the touches, you made the most of them tonight. What were you seeing out there? Uh, we just uh, had coach tell us to follow our blocks. So our linemen stepped it up this uh, game for sure. So just follow the blocks. How much you weigh, son? Uh, 150 flat. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations on the victory tonight. Thank you. Good job. Again, Brandon Sanders, a couple of touchdowns for insurance for Judson. Really, they only needed one score and an extra point, holding Churchill to just six points tonight. It's a talented Chargers squad that they defeated this evening as this non-district run has been impressive for the Judson Rockets. Well, equally impressive, of course, our friends here at Time Warner Cable and our production crew want to say thank you to them and, of course, to the legendary Hall of Famer, Larry Pullen. I'm Lincoln Rose. Good night once again on this Friday evening in the Alamo City.